Morning guys, about 6 a.m. It's colder this morning than it was yesterday. Aura wants to go outside apparently. We'll let you out in a minute. And I know I was telling you guys we're going to do the um, snowmobile crane. We are going to work on that a little bit today. But the first thing I want to do since it's going to start raining out again here later today is get this condenser off the floor and on the cab. So the first thing I have to do is attach some brackets to it and we'll get started with that and then uh, once the sun comes up we can get that installed on the cab. I've got the oil filled heater inside the cab right now heating it up so that the Sikaflex will dry and that it'll all be sealed up for our wet winter we're gonna have here. Let's get started.
right, guys, that wasn't too bad. It took a couple hours. Um, I got it on there and Sikaflexed in, and it worked out the way I thought it would. Just barely enough clearance on the back of the cab there to make this sit the way I wanted. And then it just, it's seated down in the uh, rain rails there, and there's uh, four penetrations holding it in. But uh, it turned out, for me, it turned out awesome. This is the way I envisioned it going on here. Um, and I know you guys are probably going to say, oh, the trees and stuff are going to damage it. No, they won't. Because in an upcoming video, you're going to see that I got something in store that you guys are really going to like. So it will be protected, let's just say that. So, it looks badass. Hanging off the back of the cab. This is the way they install them in the Humvees. Um, they've actually got two little stilts that hang off the back and go down to the bed in the Humvees. I'll show you what I did here on the inside of the cab. So it was a little challenging trying to do it by myself. Um, I suppose it could have gone faster if I would have had help. But that's no big deal. I'm used to figuring out ways to do this on my own. So I had to hole saw one little hole there in the back for access. And then the other ones just went through the uh, frame on the roof here. So that worked out pretty good. Um, it looks like the wires might be long enough to just go through and um, connect right here. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are, so that's kind of a bonus. I don't have to make an extension cable. Um, I can use that wire for some other project, maybe. Uh, aside from that, I just got to get my control box mounted. Uh, and that's it for the inside of the cab here. Then we just got to deal with the compressor and the hydraulic lines and whatnot. All right, let's move on to this snowmobile crane project. Um, the materials you can use, you'll get the idea behind this here in a little bit. But I've got these uh, six foot sticks of aluminum pipe. What I'm going to attempt to do, and it might not work, is I want to bend a 90 in each end of one of these. So I'm going to start with that. to the bender but uh, I guess that answers the question of if you can bend these or not so uh, plan B plan B yeah let's go to plan B
that was a joke. The threads on the welding tip broke off inside the frickin' gun. I'm gonna have to take this in and have it serviced. Seems like every time I try to do some welding, you know, I haven't done welding for like a couple years now. Uh, nothing seems to go right. I just get really frustrated with it. But anyway, I got some big boogery welds on there. Thanks to a fucked up... Oops, bad word. Sorry about that. <laughs> thanks to a messed up uh, tip there. And my face shield, apparently the batteries are dead in it for whatever reason. It's not working. Whatever.